Steph from rockyournotebook.com and I'm back with another mixed media uh, video for you all. Again, I'm still working in my B6 mixed media traveler's notebook. Um, while I'm loving this size, I have noticed that for some projects it is a little tiny, but I'm going to figure it out. So I prepped the page here with some gesso and then that extra gesso that I had laying on my um, card there, I just scraped it on the other side of the paper which is fine because I will be creating more uh, mixed media pages in this notebook for sure and then I'm drying all of this with my heat gun and then I'm grabbing this stencil which is actually supposedly a winter star stencil but I feel that you can use this stencil for anything so I'm gonna use my Liquitex um, soft modeling Oh gosh, why am I having a thought? I can't remember what it's called, but it's soft modeling stuff. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but it dries really quickly. And then it's also very important to wipe it off of your stencil and your palette knife right away, because if it dries on there, it's not, it's not coming off. Um, that palette knife that I have there on the side that I used for this is from Michaels and is my favorite, favorite type of palette knife. I swear I need to buy like 10 more of them so that um, when I misplace that one or it's upstairs, I can have that. Then I'm using drywall tape. Um, I know it seems like a weird medium, but it gives such great texture to your mixed media layouts and you get a huge roll of this stuff that could basically last you forever. Um, in hindsight, I should have stuck it onto the gesso before I dried it, but I didn't know I was going to use it. Um, this page is really taking a mind of its own here, so I stuck it down. It is sticky on one side and then I added gesso on top of it to make sure that it's like really stuck down in there and it's fine. It's perfect. Then the Michaels here has Liquitex acrylic gouache. I need to do more research so that I can actually tell you what it is, but it is like a fluid acrylic paint, but not quite. Anyways, I have this really light gray and I ended up getting the exact look that I was going for on my background here. I added a ton of water to really get it moving and to thin it out and get like a light wash on my page. And I am loving the way it turned out. It was just spectacular. Um, in a minute here, you're going to see I finished spreading it all out and then I'm actually going to spray it with my um, water bottle. And you can see on the side there that I've got this paper doll. That paper doll is from Calico Collage. And I'm also going to explain to you why a larger notebook would be better for this project <laughs> in a minute here. Um, but I'm adding more water, getting that paint to spread some more. Um, and then here I am with the water bottle, spraying it, and I'm just letting it drip and move and do its thing. And I'm um, wiping that up so that I don't mess up the cover of my notebook. And then I'm going to uh, dry all of this. I move some of the paint around with my finger because when you're doing mixed media art, who doesn't use their finger? I don't know. I do. Now, I left most of this drying part in so that you could see it's in the seam of my notebook and I push it down with the heat gun and then have my baby wipe down at the end to mop up all that extra paint. Once this dries, it becomes completely permanent. It's not like a watercolor. It's like an acrylic where it's completely permanent once it's fully dry. And that works perfectly for me. Um, if you don't have a heat gun and you're doing mixed media art, I highly recommend grabbing one. Uh, the reason being because if you're anything like me, I am completely impatient and I don't want to wait for things to dry before I come back to them. Something like this would take a really long time to dry on its own. 
especially where I am in the cold, it just, it would take forever. Or where I used to be with all the humidity, it would take forever to dry. So a heat gun is definitely the way to go. You can grab them at Michael's and use a coupon. You can use the link that I have down below for this particular heat gun, which is um, a serious heat gun. It works really well and it gets really hot, but it's awesome. Now, I did look for, I wanted to add um, the gilding flakes, but then I remembered that I don't have them in silver and the other colors, the gold and the copper would not have looked right with this particular layout that I had going on. So I gave up on that and then I added a fluid acrylic pink paint and I only put it where I have the um, drywall uh, tape and I'm checking out my doll here to figure out how I'm going to add her in and this is why I wish that I had been working in say like an A5 just because of the fact that she doesn't have enough space for her legs so she looks like a really short person which is fine because again it's art journaling it is what it is um but i wasn't happy with that again i've said it before in previous videos though art journaling is just about figuring things out and um going with the flow and that's what i ended up doing here so i fixed her legs I got them how I wanted them and then I added um, this Nouveau glue to her legs to stick her down. This glue is quickly becoming one of my new favorite glues. I used to use Fabri-Tac glue for everything but then I found this Nouveau glue and I'm truly truly loving it. I'll leave a link below um, in the video for it so that if you want to grab this glue you can too but it's it's really fabulous. So I glued her legs down and then you're going to see me come in with that pink paint that I talked about. And what I love about uh, fluid acrylic paints is that you can get them to look like watercolors or you can get them to look like acrylic paint. Uh, and you can see that I hardly used any and I've got some great vibrancy going on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, the spray bottle so that I can get that paint moving and a baby wipe to assist me so that the paint doesn't go in places that I don't want it to go. I really wanted to just kind of highlight the drywall tape area. Um, that was my goal with this, with this paint. And then I dried all of that and I cut that part out so that you wouldn't have to sit and watch me dry it all because it did take a little while to get that all dry. And then again, here I am with the Nouveau glue and I stuck my, my doll down. And then I'm going to grab, um, I don't, if you saw my uh, previous video, I have some calico collage words that I have been cutting out and using. Um, and I'm going to cut some of those words out and adhere them down with the Nouveau glue as well. And then this the spread is done and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And that will be it for this video. So I'm gonna just kind of leave it on so you can see me gluing the words down or you can skip ahead to the end to see the photos of the video. I will leave links below as well for a Calico Collage shop so that you can grab um, either the paper dolls or the words. I She has lots of words and I really need to go and buy some more because I love, love, love her words for my art journal spreads. They're just, she has so many fantastic different ones. And the great thing about printables is that you have them forever. So it's not like stickers where you don't have them forever. Um, you know, you use up the whole sheet and you just print up some more. Anyways, Again, I'm using the Mixed Media Notebook. You can grab that in the shop. There's a link down below. And I hope that you're enjoying these mixed media spreads that I'm posting for you in my Traveler's Notebook. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching. Bye.